Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Push, and I thought I would do a market review today. Going into the weekend, it's Friday. Actually, less than five minutes before the close here. What a what an interesting week for the market. Some big, big names reported this week. Very positive. Let's go over them. Apple, Facebook, Amazon, and Google all had huge gaps and positive reports this week in the market. And you would think, based on that, that this range that the SPY has been in actually ever since July 14th, two, two weeks, that we would have broken out of it any one of the days this week, but we didn't, we did not. But I will tell you that this looks amazing and we kind of were starting to break out here again. We actually just made another brand new all time high just the last few minutes. Can you believe that? So it's like, look at this, 217.54. I think we just explode to start out the month of August next week. I mean, if today was not Friday night, I'd say we'd be gapping up tomorrow morning or neutral and higher. This this looks like a breakout play in the daily chart of the SPY. We had huge earnings this week, big companies, and the SPY lagged. But the interesting thing is, and I said this a couple of videos ago, we never pulled back. So this is a rest period for the market. Instead of pulling back to here, to here, to here, to here, any places, instead of pulling back, we did not. Where are we going to pull back to? We, we would have to pull back all the way to here. And I'm not saying that's a big pullback, but kind of, kind of. So instead, what we did, instead of pulling back, is we had some days where we just sold off, but stayed and held this area. So we had a rest period in the market. And the positive earnings from the big names helped the market hold this new area, this baby area of support instead of pulling back because we didn't do it. We did not pull back. So the market looks like it's going to explode to start out the month of August. I mean, just run right up to 220 and possibly into 225. As I discussed in the previous videos, who's going to short here? And, and why would you even sell if you're long when the market just made another brand new all-time high today? So long and short of it is, the market is higher, and between now and the end of the year, we have less than six months to go in the calendar year of 2016. Look for the market to just fly and take off. I'm going to have to really relook at my end-of-year target. I'm going to wait till after next week and see how we act around that 220 number, because it will make a big difference if we fly up hard over 220 into 225 or run up to 220 and then pull back and take our time to get up to the next level. So this looks like a breakout play in the daily chart of the market. Everyone who wants to do anything in this chart should be long. There's nothing to do here that's even remotely weak or short. Very, very strong. No pullback. Look for a bullish start to the month of August. And it's going to be an exciting time to trade in the summer. So today is the last day to sign up for the Golden Gap class to be able to be in the room and get my trains and calls and option trains for this earning season, because August is all third quarter earnings season, it's just going to be a great, great time to trade. And today there was a gap swoosh, had a great trade in Google this week, and it's, it's a good time to be in the room. It's a good time to trade gaps, actually, in the summer. Email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you would like more information. And if you want to sign up for the class, that's tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Have a great weekend, everyone.